Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be looking at episode 4, the final episode, as far as I know, of Quest of Knowledge by 40k Theories. This is going to be the ramifications of knowledge, or as I would like to call it, the ramification of knowledge! Which no one should because that's actually a dumb, stupid pun, but I'm doing it because I like dumb, stupid puns. Choice. Well, it's not, but we'll pretend it is. Right now, though, the demon was set free because... Apparently the blood se purity seals were the only thing holding it in, and all the really cool super tech that predated the collapse of the Horus Heresy that was containing the demon are breaking, and they are completely useless. So stasis machines, ah, <laughs> no. We're about to see the possibly Zinch demon, maybe something else, free at last. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I heard that sound at the end. It was like a growling roar dino effect from Jurassic Park, and um, yeah, shit about to happen. I'm looking forward to this, and, um, yeah, this is, a. am really looking forward to see how this goes. I would like to say, though, as much as I'm looking forward to this, it, if this is actually the last episode, I'm kind of like, ah, I want there to be more. Why do we not have more? Unless he dies. Ooh, that actually would be a bad, ooh. But do we get a bad end? If he dies in this series, does he die in TTS as well? You know, pretend I didn't ask, and, uh, yeah, no. Link below original video, and let's just go find out how this maybe ends. And yeah, let's get started. The ramifications of knowledge. <laughs> A blinding oh, flash of right light in. filled the chamber as the containment field holding the demon failed. Big it took claws. me a few moments to readjust my vision, but standing before me was the now freed entity... Well, a Internal kind of defense systems began effect. to activate as heavy bolter turrets began to Even the bolters the have skulls, of course they do. The are. creature raised its arms and unleashed a blast of psychic energy that caused the weapons yes. to detonate and explode. The blast sent Remleys flying backwards against the wall with a hard. I just realized this is going to be from the Inquisitors. Or not the, uh, the, the Lord Sisters. Inquisitor fell limp. The creature turned its gaze away from Remley's toward us. Well, crap. I raised my sword and lowered it at the foul That would imply being, that this isn't the last one, or he the death is watch. dead. Cock their weapons in response. Open fire! Purge the foul creature! The explosive rounds Sorry, impacted just... into oh, the Oh, God, the jaw! Over and over. The beast roared. It's that is actually kind of screwed up. It's impossibly right. wide as an ear piercing sound emanated from it as it began to yeah. march toward us. I mean, they're not entirely Send real, so why not? To whatever hell spawned it. As the creature took more and more Chicago? Fire from my whole ah, New Jersey. Lest weapons, its form began to destabilize. Oh? It would soon no longer be able to maintain its form within this plane of existence. Ooh, are the Battle Sisters actually doing no. it? I will not go back. Not yet. I. The demon lay high in the air, its clawed hands outstretched to crush my very throat. Inquisitor, look out! Try dodging! I felt myself being forced out of the way by one of my sororitas, causing me to fall to one knee. I then saw the demon slam into her, before another flash of blinding light filled the room, along with a psychic shockwave, knocking us all to the ground. That doesn't sound good. I opened my eyes. <laughs> And what I saw horrified and disgusted me in equal measure. The Why does the possession need a bikini? The path of the demon had changed. She was a twisted, corrupted and that is slash. Of a once pure Never mind, that's why. Ecclesiarchy, bearing the glowing eyes of a predator, and sickly wings sprouted from her back like some great raven. In a taloned hand, bore Gotta a sword it. that seemed to rise and pulsate as like like if Saint it was Celestine. some perverse organ. Thank you for my new body, Vampire. Allow me to repay your gratitude. God. The creature of sneered before slash. letting out a perverse laughter. The space wolf lunged forward with his power axe, snarling like a feral beast. Form the all father! He swung his great axe down as it crackled with arcs of lightning. The demon blocked the blow and laughed. It blocks on the haft. The wolf dodged oh, back, geez. avoiding a disemboweling blow before lashing out once more. Glowing blue sparks danced along his blade as he swung. That is actually really the demon cool. demon blocked an overhead, decapitating blow and sneered. 
She spinned her blade, knocking the axe out of the Astartes' hand before delivering an overarching slash, almost cleaving the space wolf clean in two. The wolf clearly didn't know when to give up. It oh seems. wow, they really I are saw showing him everything. Draw a combat knife and plunge it into the creature's shoulder, ah, go wolf. causing her to shriek in surprise before he finally died. I then overheard one of the Death Watch open a transmission over the communications link. Get all the docket? Oh, demon. Before the Astartes could finish, the demon Yeah, that kind of happens when there's a more, demon involved. His from his shoulders in a shower of blood. This isn't a small one. Oh god, that face. Oh god, the blood on the face. Oh god, the tongue. A wall of purifying flame engulfed the creature as one of my sororities unleashed a burning jet of yeah. from her flamer. <clears throat> Burn, the tongue. She you know what? Killing the fire sounds like a good idea. The creature continued to advance, her body engulfed in flame. She flexed her massive wings, the gust of air. That actually is kind of terrifying. Flames. I grow bored. I opened fire with my plasma board. pistol, I'm hitting off several shots. Ooh, plasma pistol. The creature snarled as a bolt of burning plasma hit it square in the face. Ha! It roared in annoyance. Gotta and love the random plasma shot that actually strike, works. Causing me to be thrown across the blood slicked floor. The demon lunged forward and began to cleave with her living blade, severing heads and impaling Sororitus and Astartes alike over the course Ooh, of what seemed yeah, hours, not... yet only lasted a few They're really going all minutes. out on the art detail on this one. Soon I appeared to be the only one left standing with the creature. <laughs> because the sergeant's always the last one. I slowly rose oh, to my sergeant, feet as I drew enough. my holy blade and thumbed the activation rune, Did her causing scar it to glow reopen? an intense blue color. Face me in combat, beast! Ooh, power sword. You have the courage. <laughs> you. you. The effect of the smoking tool. wound just Me. going away. Very well. I they change the face so the nose is slits now? The demon swiped it. I think they did. Blade. Sparks danced along the edge of my blade as I blocked it. Huh. With every swipe, block, sidestep, and strike. I felt as if this beast was toying with me. Probably. I lunged forward else. to impale the beast in the face, to banish it back to the depths of the warp. She grabbed my blade in her palm and grinned, yeah. even while vile black ichor bubbled That's and usually fizzed a bad along sign. the edge of my blade. I'm going to enjoy feasting upon your soul. <laughs> the beast laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I could then hear what appeared to be chanting from behind the demon, along with the sound of someone <laughs> sprinting. Fremlies. Before the creature screamed in agony, as a surge of energy washed over both me and the fire like crimson lightning. The demon then pitched forward into unconsciousness. I looked up in disbelief at Remlays. He's not dead. Fascinating. He said, his balance a little off. Perhaps his built-in gyro stabilizers had been damaged. I looked down at the demon, noticing that between its wings was a purity seal, the wax still crackling with psychic energy. Huh? Oh, oh he is. This further. You... You bound this creature to a mortal body? I said angrily. Did this man's arrogance have no bounds? Yes. No. I turned her into a demon host. However, since the ritual was conducted, Impromptu, her body may still have her soul. I will continue my research into this. Huh? Remlays, you arrogant little bastard! <laughs> you have a funny way of saying thank you, Volpar. I rose to my feet huh? as reinforcements from the Death Watch. I'm pretty sure in, she assault marines, or the demon terminators, did librarians, that on and more. I sheathed my sword and pointed at Remlays. Jojo reference. Remlays, you are charged with heresy in the first degree. If you were a lesser man, I would have simply executed you on the spot. I don't think this counts, though. However, he found it, but he didn't Lord unleash Quinter, it. I will give you the dignity of being brought to terror to stand trial. I stepped closer to him, even as he squatted by the demonic creature, still examining it. Will you come willingly? Probably will not. be forced to use force? And she's being Remnos good. looked up at me as he flipped open a panel on his arm. Neither. Teleporter. He placed his hand on the demon's body and laughed. <laughs> no. It has been wonderful seeing you again, Thorbar, but I must dash. The same time next year. He said in a mock. That's not a good idea. Sparks of jade energy began to erupt around him. Jade, really? The bastard was teleporting out. With a flash of blinding green light, both Remlays and the demon were gone. Oh my God! Really? I then turned to the Death Watch Marines. If you have any craft, I want them prepared for combat now. 
There is no way in hell oh. I am letting this madman escape. He will answer for his heresy. Ah. Idiot balls around. Okay, first off, good news! It's not the last episode! Bad news! I have no idea when the next one's coming out, if it's coming out ever. But that was so cool! <laughs> getting to see the fight, and the sisters actually going to town, and everyone getting in there, and like, they went all out on the bloods and made the, the blood, and the guts, and the, the decapitation, and the, oh my god, like, the, the tug, and the... That dog, that the, 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 the jaw, what it was like an energy being. Oh, God, that was so cool and creepy at the same time. Of course, it had to be Slanesh. It just had to be Slanesh. Of course, it was. Yeah. I will say, though, that um, <laughs> there is so much in this. But right at the end, where everyone had the idiot ball. Valpar, because Remlays is not a heretic, he was opening a vault and discovered someone else was a heretic. Duh. And that's pretty obvious because the people who were watching him do it were there the entire time. And then Remlays is being an idiot because he's now becoming a heretic because kidnapping a demon and not killing it is not a good idea. And literally, he's taunting them while he's doing it. Dear God! I mean, yeah, she's calling him about being arrogant. And I can see, yeah. It's like they're both carrying idiot balls for believable reasons, but idiot balls. And I love it because it's going to lead to a space battle. And if the fifth one comes out, it'll be a space battle. And God, I'm, I'm sorry. I have images of space battles or something I really, really like. It's just, my geek senses are tingling. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> All I can say is, if you haven't seen the original, there's a link below. Make sure to watch it up a few dozen times, because that was awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.